Hello, hello, hello! How are you guys doing today? Okay, so I know I haven't filmed a video over here in a few days, and my last couple videos have been, well, just kind of sad and introspective, and um, I'm feeling much, much better. I, um, I took two days off, and I just was like, Peter, you just need to like read some audiobooks and just get out of your head a little bit and talk to people. I talked a lot to my support network, and so I'm feeling so much better, and I just want to say um, thank you so much for your kind words and all of that. And you know, it's interesting. It's because I have talked a lot about this on my Peterisms channels. I'm out of breath because I just ran down the basement and ran back upstairs. People are like, oh my god, he went into the basement? Um, but anyway, my basement that is like forever need to be cleaned out. Anyway, um, you know, I talk a lot about grief on my vlog, and I talk a lot about it on my Peterisms channel, and I am somebody that is such a believer um, that, you know, you don't just move on. You know, I had a very dear friend of mine say to me, she had lost her son, um, and when my mom passed away, I said to her, you know, people are telling me I need to move on. I don't know what that means. And she goes, no. She said, we don't ever move on. We move through the pain. But we forever carry the memories and the emotions attached to those people forever. And I, I think that's true. And I hope that's true. You know, and I think that it is uh, really important to uh, remember people. And I've kind of had this... Uh, this switch kind of go off in my head somewhere. You know, I, I would get, I talked about my mom so much my first year of my vlog. This is totally not what I thought I was gonna be doing in this video today, but bear with me, I'm gonna show you all the Christmas stuff I got, or most of it. But anyway, you know, I talked a lot about my mom passing in my very first year of doing my vlog. So I vlog every single night for an hour, an hour and a half. And, um, and I love that channel. And there's a group of people over there that call themselves the Vlogarinos. They started their own Facebook group called Peter Mons Vlogarinos. We did a live stream on Monday night. It was so fun. And um, it was about, I don't know, like a hundred and some people. And we were all just in there talking and hanging out. And the moderators were the ones that were running it. And I just kind of was a guest. It was really fun. But anyway, um, I talked so much about my mom that first year that I really think that was my cathartic kind of like therapy to like work through some of that stuff. You know, like I had talked to counselors about it and I talked to my sponsors about it and I had shared in my meetings about it and recovery meetings until like ad nauseum, you know, but I think really talking about it and sharing all these old stories and memories of my mom and stuff like over the years, like it has lessened and lessened and lessened. But I got a comment on my vlog a couple years ago and somebody said, oh my God, you're still talking about your mom. And I just thought like, what a rude comment. You know, like that was my mother. I'm gonna talk about her probably for the rest of my life. So get over it if you don't like it. Um, I mean, she was my mom. I mean, it, it's such a weird concept when you lose a parent, especially a parent that you were really close with because it's like, my. I, I mean, when you think about the fact that you were with this person like literally from the day that you were born until now. It's just like so surreal, you know? So anyway, I just talked about this on my uh, Peterisms video. I just pre I just didn't pre-film it. I just filmed a Peterisms video. And on there I was talking about like anytime you experience loss, I feel like it brings up the previous loss for you, you know? So I'm gonna make a, a transition, get ready. So I think that like what has been happening lately is you know, by experiencing, like, finding out that our dog, Tucker, is sick with the exact same thing that Pee-Pee passed away from. It's like bringing up all of the feelings and the emotions from Pee-Pee, you know? And having had several friends of mine that passed in the last week, you know, which we were talking about in my meeting last night, you know, it's like, it's brought up a lot of loss in my life. And it's brought up those feelings and those emotions, again, that maybe I didn't cathartically work through entirely. And so, in a weird way, it's, it's been kind of healthy, I think in a sad kind of reality, you know? And, and the real truth is that loss is a part of life. And um, I don't know, it, it's hard, but one of the things, I, I was gonna say this, is that I, I will forever live the memories of my mom and my aunt as well, because my mom and my aunt were two people that were just so profoundly important to who I am today. And both my mother and my aunt loved Christmas. And um, so, uh, they always, 
You know, my cousin Caroline and I talk about how there was a lot of alcohol in our homes when we were growing up, right? That being said, Christmases for my cousin and I were magical. I mean, absolutely magical. And candles lit everywhere and, you know, I, I red tartan plaid everywhere, which I think is why I'm obsessed with red tartan plaid today. And, you know, everybody dressed up for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, you know? And I remember that my aunt, I used to think it was Christmas Eve night, but I think it's Christmas Day night. So like, you know, Christmas Eve, we would have a very dressy dinner and then we would all sit down, candlelight, and it was usually something like Beef Wellington or whatever. And then, you know, my aunt and uncle and everybody would leave. And then my mom and I, I got to open one present on Christmas Eve and it was always pajamas. And then we would watch like Christmas movies or whatever. And I took a very late in life because my mother, I think even on my last Christmas, I was opening Christmas presents from Santa and my mom, and I was 35 and my mom goes, I would say, oh, thanks, Mom. And she'd say, oh, that's from Santa. I don't know what you're talking about. She, like, wanted to keep the magic alive as long as possible. 35. So, anyway. But on Christmas Day, we would all get together, you know, around 2 o'clock and have this Christmas meal, turkey and all of that. And then, like, we would take naps and stuff, I guess. But I remember, like, being over at my aunt's house on Christmas Day night and Caroline and I in our little jammies. And, like... All families and friends and stuff would come over. I remember my mom and my aunt dancing with these two gay guys that they were friends with. And they would, like, put on, like, Christmas music. And they were, like, dancing and drinking martinis and wine and stuff. It was very, like, Auntie Mame Christmas. And that is what I remember. And I remember Caroline and I, my aunt had this huge couch in her living room across from the fireplace. And... There were people and they're telling stories, like 10 people in the living room, 10 people. My aunt had another living room in there, sitting around telling stories. People would stay there till 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, you know? And my cousin and I would be in like one little corner in our little jammies, and we would be sitting there just like listening to it all, taking it all in, you know? And then we run in and get cookies off of it. It was so much fun. Christmas was such a great time, you know? And, and, um, so anyway, I went through a year a couple years ago where we didn't put up a tree, I didn't put up anything. I just was like, just we're not really here that much anyway and so we used to Alex and I used to put up a big tree and then one year we didn't put it up at all it was literally less than two weeks away and Alex is like what's the point now and I was like yeah you're kind of right but I was so sad about it, not putting up a Christmas tree and so um the following year I got this little itty bitty Christmas tree I think I actually bought it on a vlog I think it was when Tanya and I were at Meyer. I think I bought it and I was vlogging that night. And so I still put it over there. I actually bought another Christmas tree that's going to go in the bedroom. I'm going to do that unboxing when it comes for this channel. And so, but I just wanted to get more stuff. Like, and I'm really into like evergreen being around, you know, and like pine cones and red tartan plaid. That's what I want this year. Okay. So let me just tell you the front porch. It's going to be Christmas. I mean, we did summer, we did Halloween and now we're doing Christmas. I got pillows. I got, I talked at my vlog, in my vlog at length about how I'm making the front porch. And then I want to make the bedroom. Down here, I don't care so much. This is just, I want to put the Christmas tree up over there. Maybe put some stuff behind us. But other than that, like, I don't really care so much down here. When I light candles all over the living room anyway, like when I'm working, putting videos up and stuff down here, and when Alex comes home, we've at any given time got like 10 candles going. That's pretty Christmassy. So I wanted to show you some of the things I got. The first thing I want to show you is... I was really undecided between two comforters. Okay, y'all know I buy too many comforters, too much bedding. We have bedding for a hotel. I mean, we literally do. Alex is like, did you seriously buy another comforter? But I have wanted a green plaid comforter for I don't even know how long, okay? So I got online, and I think this was at Home Depot, and it was like 100 bucks for a California king size comforter. I should probably check and make sure that it's, yeah, it's king size. Um, and so I bought it and it was on sale. It was like $80 off you guys. And it's this Eddie Bauer. Here's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like this green plaque. Can you, you can't really see it that way. Hold on a second. Can, the ring light. But do you guys see it? It's like green, oh, there you go. It's green plaid. And blue and this is gonna be for like January February and March and um, we've already got pillows that match it I'm really excited about this I just think there's something very handsome and very sexy and very woodsy about like a green and blue plaid comforter so I'm really excited about this and uh, isn't it so pretty this is just like a good sleeping in on a Saturday you know romantical times so anyway, we'll put that one away now. But I'm really excited about this comforter. Okay, so, the, but I will tell you, here's the deal. Last year, from Pottery Barn, I bought a duvet cover, okay? And it is called, I wanna make sure I tell you the right one. Um, 
I can't remember, it's like the Marvin plaid or something. I really, really like that plaid duvet cover. Here's the thing, okay? I don't love duvet cover covers. I, I have switched my, I've changed my mind, which I'm a human, I can change my mind whenever I want to. I used to love duvet covers. I used to think somehow that I thought duvet covers were fancier than comforters. I don't agree with that anymore. Here's the deal with the duvet covers. Yes, they're easy. You can take them off and wash them. It's easier than washing a comforter. But there's always a foot, okay, to the one side of the comforter. Even if you have a California king size comforter like we do, even, and we have like two different comforters and neither one of them fits right. There's always about a foot on the duvet cover down one side that no material, that no comforter fits into. So you just have material. And that always was on my side, okay? So when I'm coming home wanting to be all cozy and stuff like that, there was no, I had no duvet cover. So I was like, this year, we're not using the duvet cover. We're going to buy a comforter. And if next year I decide to go back to the duvet cover, hey, we've still got the duvet cover, right? When we get a bigger place at some point, if we ever do, then we have enough, you know, for two rooms. But I got on Pottery Barn. So here's the thing with shopping, okay? I always at any given time have like eight tabs open on my computer of stuff that I want to buy. Um, and then I, I just bought a pair of Doc Martin platform Chelsea boots. You guys, let me just tell you, if you're wanting a pair of shoes for Christmas, I swear, they are super comfortable. No, I didn't get any blisters in them and they make me about three inches taller and they're super hot. So anyway, this is my new comforter or our new comforter. Isn't that so pretty? Here, let me hold it up for you guys. Okay, so this is our new comforter, and this is from Pottery Barn, and this is the Simon Plaid California King, King California King Sherpa Bat Comforter. Okay, now I don't know if I can show you, because I don't want to take this all out, but if you look, okay, this is now Indiana, it gets real cold, and our house is very drafty. On the inside, can you see, it's this white Sherpa. I mean, this is so... This is it right here. This is the answer. And this is so Christmassy. Isn't it so pretty? And this could go into January or February too. It's not, it doesn't have to just be, you know, Christmas. But I do think it's very, very Christmassy. And with our pillows and stuff up there, it's going to be really cool. Okay, so that's the comforter that I got. I was super excited about that. Um, put those comforters over here. <laughs> too many comforters! Okay, then the next things I want to show you are... Now, I didn't bring the pillows because I, I, we still have um, the Halloween, well, the, the fall wreath and then the fall blanket out front and three pumpkins. So the pumpkins I'm getting rid of this week and then we're going to take stuff down and hopefully by then there will be some, I can get some stuff for Christmas like the evergreens. But I bought, I bought the pillow inserts for these as well. I bought two p pillows for the front porch. Yes, red tartan plaid, okay? I also think there's something very punk rock about tartan red plaid. I mean, obviously, it's kind of like, a, you remember the skirts back then? I loved them. But anyway, so I bought two of these. Here you can see there's two. And then I bought pillows to go inside of them off of Amazon. The pillows were super cheap. You could get like two for 20. 21, I think they were. And, um, and then for the summer, I'm going to get because we have the blue chairs out there, I'm gonna get yellow and white gingham um, covers for outside. So I got these pillow covers, and then, now one of them has come, I haven't even opened this yet. One of them has come and the other one hasn't. So I, okay, so these are like, you can see these are square. And they just zip, so you just put the pillow inside that you can take them out and wash them. So you can see that these are square. So then I also got rectangular pillows to put underneath there. Um, And I got all of this off of Amazon. And this stuff, you guys, came super cheap. I, it wasn't supposed to come till like the 1st of December. And I got pillows to go in these as inserts too. And this is the pillow. So this is what it's gonna look like. I haven't even held these up together, so I don't even know. Let's, fingers crossed that this is gonna look like I want it to look. Oh, it's, I think it's gonna look pretty cute. So this is what it's gonna look like next to each other. I mean, from far away on the street, it'll look good. That's cute. And the other one, I think, says something like hope or believe or something like that. And it's uh, the same. You can, I don't know if you can see this, but this is almost kind of like, like needlepoint-ish a little bit. Very nice. So very excited about my pillows. Going to put those out there. Nobody in our neighborhood has their Christmas decorations up yet, but there are a lot of Christmas decorations up in Indianapolis. Okay, the next thing I want to show you <laughs> to add to Christmas is... The Holiday Poopery. So if you guys don't know what poopery is, poopery is spray that you spray in the toilet before you do your business, okay? And my cousin first had it at her house. And I was like, Caroline, oh my God, what is wrong? Is your 
it smells so bad. But anyway, um, I'm like, I am obsessed with poopery. And I literally, we have like 10 bottles in there, okay? Because I always want to buy the new ones. But I was like, um, I want to get some holiday ones because they have holiday ones out. So the one I wanted was the one that Caroline had in her downstairs bathroom last year for Christmas. But this is not one of their newest ones. So I got this off of like Walmart. I don't know how I did. But anyway, this is, so this is not one of their new ones. And it's probably, I don't know, stale. I mean, if it poopery goes stale. But this is called Secret Santa Before You Go. And it's like, comes in this little thing. Can you see? And um, it has like a little Christmas box on it. I don't know what the smell is. It doesn't really say on here. Um, well, let's just open it and I'll tell you what the smell is. How about that? <laughs> okay, let's, oh, the non-gag gift. It's, oh, oh, I get it. That was cute. I think. Oh, and look, it's like a little ornament. Oh, it kind of smells, hmm, like peppermint vanilla maybe? I can't tell, it smells like something. So this is the bottle. It's cinnamon, vanilla. Oh, that's really nice. It's like, oh, cinnamon, vanilla, and citrus. Oh my God, I was so right about that. So anyway, that's one of them. Then, oh no, that's not it. Here are the holiday new pooperies of the world. When you have to do your business, squirt it first, squirt it first. <laughs> okay. So the three new ones, they have more than this. That kind of burnt my nose. But I, I bought, the three I bought are, um, oh, Spritzmas tree, oh, Spritzmas tree. Um, happy Spritzmas and happy new rear. <laughs> this one says, Poopery Spritzmas tree is formulated with 100% natural essentials. Okay. Uh, that eliminates bathroom odor before it begins so you can leave the porcelain throne smelling better than you found it. Um, so this one is so cute. But I'm just going to take it out of the box now. Why not? I've been saving it for the boot. So this is what it looks like. Okay. And this one is, I cannot, I don't have, oh, my reading glasses are right under here somewhere. Here they are. Okay, and this is cypress, cedar, and smoked vanilla. Smoked vanilla? I might like some smoked vanilla. <laughs> oh god, that's so weird. That is like, this is so good. Oh my god. This smells just like, I wish it was room spray. This smells like fresh, fresh, fresh pine tree. Like, not like fake pine, pine tree spray, like fresh pine tree. Look, if you pulled it right up to your nose. Okay, that one's fantastic. Then this one is Seasons Gre season Seedings, okay? And this is what this one looks like. And this is their new boxes this year. It's like, these make great gifts for people too, okay? Let me just tell you. Okay, this, and they have like, you can buy little packages in there and they also have the to-go ones that are like little sticks that you can put in your purse and stuff in case you're over somebody's house, you don't want them to make. All right, this one's seasoned seedings, and it says vanilla, bourbon, and smoky oak. This one smells like a library. This one smells like you're sitting in a library smoking a cigar, maybe you're having a, I don't have a scotch and soda, but maybe you do, okay? And you're sitting on a toilet. <laughs> That's what that one smells like. And then the last one is Bubbles and Bum, and this is like a New Year's one, I think, and it's like gold and silver, and, and I got this one because I really like the bath, ooh, that one does smell like a library. Um, I really like the Bath and Body Works champagne, what's it called, I have it right over here somewhere, champagne something from Bath and Body Works. So, um, life is about to smell way better, it says. Trust says you're going to want to scan this. Oh, 10% off, okay. All right, so, this one's Bubbles and Bum, and it says Champagne, Vanilla, and Aged Oak. Okay. That one's, I don't like this one. This one smells like body odor. I won't be using this. No, that stinks. I would not recommend that. Ugh. That's like a review. That is horrible. Okay, next. <laughs> no, 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 no. That doesn't smell like champagne. I don't know what that smells like. It smells foul. Okay, so <laughs> let's go on to the next bit of Christmas, <laughs> woo! Okay, no, we need to air that out. Okay, I think a fart would smell better than that. All right, so let's go on to the next thing. 
I have to tell you, I bought all of these Christmas K-Cups, okay, for the Keurig, because when I go vlog late at night, um, I've been making a cup, oh God, that is so bad. I have, we'll get it here. <laughs> I have been making cups of coffee to go drive around, and so I was like, I want some holiday coffee, okay? I got all this on Amazon. So the first thing that I got was the Starbucks Holiday Blend, um, which I really actually is probably one of my favorite. I like the Blonde Roast, the Verona, and then I like the Holiday Blend. So this is Herbal and Sweet Maple Notes, okay? And that's the Holiday Blend. I got it right here, limited edition, it says from the Keurig, which you can get it on Amazon. And then I also got, and I, I don't think I've ever had this one of the regular, I mean, maybe like at Starbucks, but I don't remember. Uh, this is also limited edition, and this is Starbucks Gingerbread. They're toasted, um, it's like French toast or toast, toasted graham. That's my favorite one of their Starbucks Keurig cups. So I'm real excited about this. And then I got Barney's and I, somebody said that Barney's was like a coffee place like back in the day and I didn't know that. Okay, so maybe they're still around, I don't know. But let me know if they are. Barney's Coffee and Tea Company, Santa's White Christmas, and this is flavored, and this is, it comes in this little box and it has Santa Claus on here and then you open it like this. I had this the other day. Let me see what it says on here about Santa's. Um, does it say anything about Santa's medium roast? No, it says flavored. I don't know, but there's kind of a sweetness to this. I love this, okay? And I got this online. All these things, I have to tell you, I ordered, and literally, this one and this one right here, this mods that I'm about to tell you about, this one and mods were supposed to be here like December 12th or 14th, and they literally came in two days. I was like, what is going on here? I thought I just saw something move over there. Did y'all see that? That freaked me out. Maybe it was just the clock changing on the camera. I don't know, but that freaked me out. Okay, so I would highly, highly, highly recommend the Barneys, okay? The other two, I haven't um, tried the gingerbread yet in the other one. So I ordered from this company called Mods. It's online. And there's all these different flavors. You can see all the different flavors are listed here. But they have Christmas ones. Maybe it was the Christmas one that I ordered that they're not here yet. But let me just tell you guys. So this is how it comes, okay? Which I don't hate, but it's whatever. I mean, it's not really organized. But let me tell you some of them that they have. Okay, so this one is called uh, Gone Bananas Foster. Okay, so I had this one the other day, and you guys, it tastes, I don't know that I've ever had a banana coffee, okay? It is so, so, so good. It is so good, I was so excited about it. Okay, then this one is Dreamy Creamy Salted Caramel. Aren't these names so cute? Okay, uh, uh, cinnamon roll with it. And then French Toast Roast, I wanna try that one. Um, and then, the Mod Sister Hazelnut. I think that's the one I tried the other day. I thought I had tried this one. There's like a Jamaican rum or something. Hold on. Ooh, raspberry a choco latte. Oh my God, I want to try that one so much. Okay, uh, where is the one that I, I thought I tried? Jamaican rum yum. I thought I had tried that the other day, but I think I tried the Mod Sister uh, uh, Hazelnut, maybe. I don't know. I used to not like hazelnut. My mom liked hazelnut. My mom, back in the day, she would like put, I'd come over and she would, here, I'd come over here where she lived, and she'd put coffee on and she'd go, this is, do you guys remember back in the day when you couldn't like, if you went to the grocery store, there was no flavored coffee to buy. And my mom, every once in a while, would get like those little packages of ground coffee that, you know, that came like this big little ones that were like red. And she'd go, it's hazelnut. She got so excited about it. I was like, mom, <laughs> okay, don't be corny now. Okay, um, I think that's it. I think that's all of them. So, oh, here it is. Hottie Biscotti Vanilla Almond. That's the other one that I want to try. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight different. <laughs> cups that you're gonna try. And that's all the stuff that I have for Christmas so far. Now let me tell you, okay, that I'm very excited. I have, <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to say this. I'm just gonna say it. I bought $143 worth of candles at Bath and Body Works. I know, I know, I know. But like, we're almost already out of all the candles that we have from Bath and Body Works. So I got online and they have all this holiday stuff. Oh, because I bought this spray and the spray was called, well, I'll talk about that when I do my video. Cause those candles are on their way. And I mean, I literally bought like, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> and then you know what Melissa said to me? She goes, Peter, and I go, don't, I don't. I already know about the sale coming and there's more candles that I want. And she, I said, but I needed them now. And she goes, uh, Peter, 
the buy one get one is coming up. I said, Melissa, I said, she goes, I said, Melissa, <laughs> I needed my candles now. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm real excited about that. And then um, the little Christmas tree that I ordered from this website, which I want to share with you guys, they have like all these like pre, like pre, they're little trees or like three feet trees, but you can get them in different colors. I got a flocked one. They come with all the different ornaments and everything. And it, like, it's a little kit. It was a little pricey, but I'm excited about that. So those are two more Christmas videos I'm going to do over here. And then I have some videos. Um, I have a, a video that um, I'm excited about sharing with you guys in the, around Christmas. And then I, um, I have some videos where I just want to talk about some life stuff with you guys. Some things that, like, I just experienced. And I'm really thinking, I talked about on here about this not too long ago, but let me know what you think, okay? <laughs> I don't know why this is, that, uh, that last poopery was so bad, you guys, it just will not go away. But I don't know why I even, like, think about these things at any kind of length. People are probably like, Peter, we don't really care. But, you know, this channel's called Peter Does Stuff. And when I started it, it was going to be about me doing stuff. And I'm going to continue, obviously. And I'm going to continue to do stuff. I'm going to continue to, like, you know, do the TikTok food because I have fun with that. I'm going to continue to go to the stores because I have a lot of fun with that. I, there's a brand new Ross Dress for Less. I've never been to Ross. I know. But I want to go there. Um, everybody's talking about this Ross Dress for Less in Indianapolis. But I'm actually thinking about just changing this channel and calling it like Peter's life or life with Peter or whatever. And I want to know what you guys think about that or if you have any suggestions. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, but thank you for watching this with me in my little Christmas haul. And, um, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.